All right, so let's get started with this webinar agenda. First, we will discuss about the XLOOKUP function. We will go through with all the benefits, with all the function arguments and syntax of XLOOKUP. And then we will move towards the demonstration part. And then we will come back to the presentation and we will discuss the LET function as well. So starting with the XLOOKUP function, so the first idea is what is XLOOKUP function? We need to discuss that. So the summary is the Excel XLOOKUP function is a modern and flexible replacement for older functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and LOOKUP. So as an Excel user, I hope that you have al already gone through and know about that, how to use VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and LOOKUP. So definitely XLOOKUP is, is a best replacement for all these functions and even index and match as well. So the XLOOKUP supports approximate match and the exact match. Also, we can use the wildcard such as asterisk and question mark for the partial matches. And XLOOKUP can work in any kind of uh, ranges, either it's a vertical or horizontal, right? So this is the first thing or the definition about the XLOOKUP. Okay, then we will discuss about the fundamental purpose of, of this XLOOKUP function. It's basically find the values in a range or a table, just like the traditional functions do for us, a kind of VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or index match. So the purpose is same. Then we have the return value. So the return value either will be exact match or the approximate match. The syntax of XLOOKUP function is defined on some of the function argument. The first one is the lookup, lookup value, then lookup array, then return array. If the value is not found, what we need to add in the not found, uh, if if you remember, if you are using VLOOKUP and if any value is not found by that function, it gives, it returns the error, right? And uh, to, to cover that error, you have to apply if error function with the VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. But now in XLOOKUP, we don't need to nest the if error because now we have the additional function argument, which is not found. So in case we are sure that if any of the field will be not found instead of error, we can define our customized uh, text in this function argument. Then we have match mode. There are three different kinds of match modes in the XLOOKUP and also the search mode. There are also different kinds of search modes uh, available in the XLOOKUP as well. So this is general uh, syntax of uh, XLOOKUP function. Now coming to the XLOOKUP function benefits because it's very important to understand that uh, instead of VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, index match, why we use XLOOKUP? What are the benefits of XLOOKUP? So the first, there are several important advantages to the VLOOKUP. The first one is that XLOOKUP can look up data uh, to the right or to the left of the lookup values. So in the VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP always uh, searches the value from left to right and it don't goes from right to left. So the first flexibility in the XLOOKUP is that it can work around in any kind of direction. The second benefit is that XLOOKUP can return multiple results. And I will tell you in the example that how it can return the multiple results. Then we have XLOOKUP defaults to an exact match, uh, whereas VLOOKUP defaults to the approximate match. So if you are using the VLOOKUP, so at the end of the, of the fourth function argument, you have two choices, either you write true or false. And if you skip that optional argument, by default, true will be applied. But here in XLOOKUP, the default is the exact match, which is zero or false. Then XLOOKUP can work in either vertical ranges or the horizontal ranges with respect to the data. One more benefit of the XLOOKUP is that it can perform a reverse search last to first or first to last. That's again, one more advantage ad added to this function. Then XLOOKUP can return entire rows or columns, not just one value. XLOOKUP can work with arrays natively applied to the complex criteria. So if we have uh, more than one lookup value, so how we can go with that? Uh, XLOOKUP is also flexible in that case. So let's discuss some of the function argument first, and then we will go towards the demonstration with examples. So the first argument of X lookup function is the lookup. So lookup is basically the lookup value. Is, it's exactly same as in VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, right? 
then we have to define the lookup array so it's it can be a array a group of cells or a range uh, in which we we would like to search that lookup value the third function argument is return array so so we need to select that specific range or array from which we need to get the result then not found function argument is is always optional so if anything which is not match so instead of error what we are required to give to this field then in the match mode there are four options available okay so zero for the exact match if you want to do the exact match you will write zero minus one for the exact match or the next smallest okay positive one is for the exact match or the next larger now minus one and one definitely indicates from ascending to descending descending to ascending or you can say smallest to largest largest to smallest way so these are the two parameters and two is used for the wildcard search so as i told you that you can use the asterisk sign or the quotient mark for the partial matches so for that you have to use two in the match mode then you have one more function argument which is called the search mode and in search mode you have four options available the first one is positive one if if you are searching from the first default minus one searching from the last so this means that you are doing a reverse search two is used for the binary search ascending and minus 2 is used for binary search descending so if we further explain this kind of match type so as as i have already told you there are four different match types a zero by default is used for the exact match and will return na if no match found right minus 1 will go for exact match or next a smaller item positive one will go with the exact match first or the next larger item and two for the wild cards similarly for the search mode as i already covered that there are four different kind of search mode and that will goes with positive one negative one two and minus two that relates that how you want to do search either in uh, reverse search you can use minus one or if you want to find the first value uh, you have to apply the one in the search mode so there are different kind of parameters available some important points while you will be applying the x lookup so the first point is that x lookup can work with both vertical and horizontal arrays x lookup will return hash and slash a not available error if the lookup value is not found the lookup array must be a dimension compatible with the return array argument and it should be equal and sizes otherwise the answer will not be uh, correct number 4 if x lookup is used between workbooks both workbooks must be open otherwise x lookup will return reference error so if you are looking up the values from two different workbooks make sure that both are open together okay number 5 uh, like the index function x lookup returns a reference as a result so definitely it's more flexible as compared to index as well so let's do the demonstration part and i have some examples for you regarding the x lookup and we will see some practical scenarios and you will understand more uh, in detail that how x lookup is being used and i hope that all the fundamentals uh, has been covered till here regarding this function all right so i hope that you are able to see the excel screen so if you can just quick give me a confirmation in the chat window so that i can continue uh, are you able to see my excel screen here all right thank you rahul for the confirmation uh, okay let's proceed to the x lookup example within excel uh, with different point of views and different examples so in the first example we have uh, four columns okay uh, the company names uh, their headcount their sales and the type of company and we are required to in, in the first situation we are required to do the exact match with the x lookup 
just we do in the VLOOKUP. So starting equals to XLOOKUP. So the first function argument is the lookup value. So our lookup value is in cell H4, comma. The next function argument is the lookup array, right? So we just need to select the names of the company, the column of the company, because the lookup value will be searched in this particular column, all right? Then the third function argument is the return array. Now, from which column you want to get the output? So we are just required to select the headcount column, okay? And we will close the bracket. So it says five zero head four people are working in the company Angro, and that is very right. So this is the very basic, very easy X lookup utility uh, when you want to do the exact match, right? The next situation, in the next situation, we will do lookup to the left. As we already know, as an Excel user, that we lookup don't have this kind of functionality. It always works from left to right. They can't go from right to left. So X lookup has the functionality just as the index and match function. So we can do lookup to the left and we will also see if the value is not found, what we can do with the X lookup. So let's start equals to X lookup. Lookup value is in cell L4. Lookup array. So we need to select now this specific column, which is of type column. We are searching one of the type from this range and we need to have a return array of a company name. So now, as you can see here, that it's more flexible as compared to the VLOOKUP and it's just working as like if you have used index and match. So we have got our answer that type B company is THBL, right? So we have done the lookup to the left as well. But what if, if there is a type which, which does not exist here? So it gives an error, hash slash n slash a. So it's kind of a same error which usually VLOOKUP gives us or index and match gives us when we don't have that particular lookup value available in the data set. So usually what we do, we nest that VLOOKUP with the if error function. But here in the X lookup, uh, we are not required to add the if error. And still we can use the function argument which is called if not found. So if the lookup value is not there, we can write our own customized text just like not available or any other thing you want. So now as you can see that the Z type is not available in the data set and it's returning our customized uh, text which we have done, okay? So we have defined not available and it's, it's just working like same as the if error does for the VLOOKUP or index and match. All right. So the third situation, the third situation here is that how we can do the approximate match with the X lookup. So it's very simple equals to X lookup. Now this time we have a number of units and we need to look up this number of units and we need to have a discount percentage. Okay. And we know that uh, the number of units can be anything, any number, which is not exactly available in this units raw. So we are required here to do the approximate match here. So the lookup value is available in H14. The lookup array, definitely the range of units, which is in raw number 13 here. The return array, which is the discount range. Again, that is from raw number 14. And this time, the match mode will be the approximate match. But as you can see that the data is sorted and the data is sorted from smallest to largest. So if you can see the data here, the units are being uh, sorted smallest to largest, 10, 25, 35, and 50. So for this kind of approximate match, we will be using positive one here. Now positive one is used for the exact match or the next larger item, okay? So I will write one here and I got the discount percentage. So if I have the 11 units, I will get the 5% of discount. If I have the 10 units, for example, so definitely it will work as an exact match. But if the number is not available, for example, for the 13 units, again, 13 units come under the bracket of this 25 units and we have done the approximate match. 
with the help of XLOOKUP as, as we do in VLOOKUP or index and match, right? Okay, so these were the three examples uh, we have done so far with respect to the XLOOKUP. First, we completed the exact match. Then we completed that how the XLOOKUP can do from right to left. And if the value is not found, what we can do? And in the third example, we have done XLOOKUP with the approximate match, okay? Moving forward, if we have a different kind of situation here, now we have a two-way lookup. So once we have a two-way lookup, then how the XLOOKUP can be utilized? So first, let's understand the data. We have some salesperson and we have product-wise sales here. And we want to find the sales of Kareem for the product three. So this is a two-way lookup. So let's see how, how we can do with the help of X lookup. Uh, you can also do with the index and match where you need to apply a two match within the index function, one for the rows number and one for the column number. But here in the X lookup, the treatment would be different. So first we will define the lookup value, which is the product three lookup array. So I will just select that entire raw of starting from product one to product four, which is available in raw number three here. And in the return array, in the return array, I will start one more lookup because it's a two way lookup. So the first lookup uh, is, is, will give me the uh, position of this raw number of product three, uh, of position of product three. And then the next lookup for the salesperson. So the salesperson name is available in I3. And that particular range is from B4 to B8. And the return, what would be the return array? Definitely that would be one of the number from these range, okay? And I will close that function. So now as you can see that salesperson Kareem, who is selling product three has 210. So this is how we can do a two way lookup. Okay. And for example, if we change something from here, for example, we need to find a salesperson Ali from the product number four. So it's one five eight five, right? So this is a similar kind of treatment. If you know how to use the index and match, but now that has been also replaced with our uh, X lookup where X lookup is finding the raw number and the column number. And then according to that, it's giving us the return array, that particular sales number to us. All right, next example. If we have the multiple values, so whenever we have some duplications and, and uh, we need to, uh, we need to have the more than one criteria as a lookup value, then how we can do that? So if, if you use VLOOKUP or if you use index match, definitely there uh, you have to create some helper columns or the extra columns where you, where you concatenate the lookup value in a separate column and then look up and then apply the lookup on the, on a different table array, right? But here in the X lookup, it's very flexible. So we, we know that we need to find the price of a t-shirt, which is large in size and which is red in color. So there are three lookup values and based on three lookup values, multiple values, we need to find that price. So starting from J3, you will add M% percent sign, then for the size, which is an I4, and then I5 for the color. So there are three lookup values. We have joined three different lookup values with the help of M% percent sign, I3, I4, and I5. And then in that lookup array, we also need to select three ranges, one from B4 to B13, M% percent sign, then the size range from C4 to C13, and then the color range. And after that, we need to define the return array, which is the third function argument. Definitely we need the price. And when I close the bracket, so now as you can see that uh, 210 is the price of a t-shirt, which is large, and that is in red color, right? So our answers are matching. So this is how when you have the multiple values as a lookup, so you can very easily use XLOOKUP rather than calculating different kind of calculation in the extra columns.